Hello and welcome to Big Blight Gaming. Today we're going to try Factorio. Uh, specifically, a mod for Factorio called Crastorio 2. Um, I haven't played Factorio in a while. It's one of my favorite games. So I thought I'd give it another go. And um, I thought I'd go with an overhaul mod. Uh, Crastorio 2 is a good one. I played the original Crastorio mod um, a couple of years back. And uh, liked it a lot, so i um, curious to try this one. I was motivated to play this uh, after after we got more info on the Factorio expansion recently. The Space Age expansion. So uh, let's dive into it. So the mods I'm using, mainly just Crastorio 2. Um, I am using Beacon Rebalance, which... Um, Changes the behavior of beacons a little bit to emulate the balance of space exploration's beacons. I like the way space exploration handles beacons. Uh, basically, you have one beacon. You can only have one beacon affecting um, one building at a time. Uh, if you have more, it just overloads and stops working. I like that, so you don't have, you know, beacons laying around everywhere. Um... All of the, most of the other mods are quality of life stuff, logistic train network, mini loader, mining drones. Mining drones are cool. They do make the game a little bit easier. They make mining easier, but that's okay. I like them. They're pretty cool. All right, let's um, start a new game. I'm going to bump up the ores because I like a lot of resources. Frequency, size, 200. Does it make the game easier? Yes, it does. Richness, 200. And I'll keep all the other settings on default, except the research queue availability, always. Let's go. So Crastorio 2, it's, um, I think it's basically just an extension of the game. Just extends it, add new, adds new stuff. This is Crastorio. You have crash landed on the alien planet. In order to have any hope of survival, you must construct a transceiver and send a distress call to your home planet to start. Uh, start small, work your way up with automation. Don't forget to protect yourself from the natives. Okay, so uh, in Crastorio, in the original game, uh, your goal is to launch a rocket. In this one, I guess uh, I need to construct a transceiver and send a distress call. That's my... That's my goal. So I think the game does um, add some complexity or the mod adds some complexity to the base game. I'll take that. I have played a little bit of space exploration, but um, it is kind of a chore. It's uh, a step up from this in complexity, I think. And um, that's just a little, little too much for me. It takes a little too much commitment. But uh, I think Crastorio by itself is something I can eventually finish. So that's what we're doing. A lot of people uh, play Crastorio to with ex space exploration together. That's a popular way to do things, and that's how I did it. Uh, but I, I never got that far. I got to space, and then a little bit further. I got some of the basic space uh, research done, and that's about it. Never built a spaceship. But I will build a spaceship 
once the expansion comes out, the Space Age Factorio expansion, I will be playing that for sure. Okay, well, what do we got around here? Copper, iron, coal, stone. There's some new resources. I guess there's... The new resources are not in the starting area. That's cool. I'll have to go find them. Let's just uh, deconstruct what we can here. Okay, that's a research computer, assembler ship, ship assembler, ship reactor. That'll give me some power. Let's get rid of all these parts. We can use these resources. And I will leave... I'll leave this spaceship here. It looks cool. I'll take the ammo, though. Okay, how do we get power? Do I have... I can build power poles. Okay. Let's build power poles. I gotta get power. Well, first, let's see what we need for research. Ah, oh, the tech cards. Okay. It doesn't use... Um, research flasks. The red Kool-Aid, the green Kool-Aid... Uh, I gotta find trees. Unfortunately, not a lot of trees here. Let's see, we got tips about RoboPort. Uh, robo ports can be set to normal logistics construction. Okay, so we can kind of specialize robo ports. That'll be interesting. Um, that's all vanilla stuff. What is this? Copy paste filters. Oh yeah, that's just vanilla stuff. Where's all my trees? Let's build some more power poles. I'll take some fish. Wonder if they'll have any use other than just eating them raw in Crestorio. I'll take that coal. Okay, we got a bunch of power poles. Um, let's make some chests. Why not? So that's going to give me 240 watts. This is going to consume... One assembler will consume 93. Oh boy, we're not going to get a whole lot of power out of this. Okay. Well. How do we make tech cards? Wood and cables. Um, okay. Well, I got to start smelting. That should be the first thing I do. Let's make furnaces. 
Oh, I need the mining depot so I can use the drones, but that's rather expensive for me right now. There we go, and with Crastorio, you do need to select your recipe, even in furnaces. I remember that much. Let's make some more of those. A couple more mining drills. I guess the early game is probably, uh, yeah, it's very similar to Vanilla Factorio. Where's my copper? There it is. One more. There we go. Okay, I probably don't want more uh, drills and thing and uh, furnaces than this right now. That's going to attract some biter attention that I don't want. I can build a few more over here. Okay, these are slow. What's the recipe for this? 10 or 16, takes 16 seconds. Okay, 10 or makes five plates. All right, that's um, about half the efficiency as vanilla. Uh, what else do I got? I got, I start with a car, that's pretty sweet. Why does it say you have no fuel? Car cannot be fueled with coal. A battery? Types of fuel do you use? Fuel, biofuel, advanced fuel. Okay, well I start with fuel. That's interesting. Yeah, I should go chop some more trees. I started in a bad spot. 
there a forest around here? I guess there's that. Terrible. Cutting down my pollution barrier. But I gotta do it. I need that wood. I think later I can make uh, greenhouses grow my own trees. I think that was in the original Crestorio. Probably same deal here. Ooh, wait a minute. I got a shelter. I think that gives power. I can use that as a power source. Let's see. Um, sets a spawn point. Oh, well, it doesn't provide power. Yeah. Oh, well. What else do I start with? I start with construction robot. That's pretty sweet. Uh, cliff explosives. Do I even want to bother with construction robots right now? I don't think so. They're so slow. I don't like... I don't like um, early... Robots. They're so slow. I outrun them. Then I gotta wait for them... To return to me. Alright, I got some copper plates. We can... Get started on these. Let's uh, let's set this to uh, yeah. Wires, and we'll set you to tech cards. Give you a bunch of wood, and uh, I can actually make mining depots right now. Let's do that. They're really nice. Takes a lot of resources, but worth it. Oh, wait. we got some research cards going. Not doing any research yet, but uh, that'll come soon. Okay, first depot, mining depot. Yeah, these are pretty cool. You just put down a depot. The green area uh, shows the area that it can mine from. So let's just cover this whole area. We'll put it right there. Have it mine coal, and then we'll just put the mining drones in. And they'll go out and do their thing. They don't make any sound. That's odd. 
But they look cool. They're like little tiny people. And uh, that's pretty handy. So you don't have to use uh, mining drills anymore. And um, it does make the game a little bit easier in that sense. But I don't mind it. The whole point of the game is to build nice big mega bases, I guess. I've never actually gotten that far, but maybe this time we'll see. Alright, we have some tech cards. Maybe we can toss them in the, the research center here. It's gonna eat up our power. Alright, I got 30 of them. Um, I kinda just wanna go military first because I'm scared of an early attack. I want a rifle and be I wanna be able to make rifle magazines. And then Automation core. Then we'll get started on automation. Now our power's um, not doing great. That's okay. It's going to be slow going for a little bit here until we get more uh, methods of power generation. We do have wind turbines. Okay, why not? We'll make that. Do I start with wind turbines? Nah. Let's put our fish on our hotbar there. Let's make some repair packs. We might need them if we get attacked. Good to be prepared. Um, I'll keep the coal on my hotbar so I don't have to keep going to my inventory. Okay, we can make a real research lab. That's going to consume 200 kilowatts. What does this broken lab consume? 60? Yeah, I can't. I can't make this thing yet. I can make more mining drones. I do think these mining depots, I do believe they generate pollution. It doesn't say that they do, but I think they do. Uh, mining drones, it doesn't say if they do here either. I might be wrong, but I do think they still generate pollution. Speaking of pollution, how we doing? Oh yeah, well, we're gonna get attacked pretty soon. There's a nice biter base there. To the southeast. Now we did finish research. Let's make a submachine gun. Some rifle ammo. There we go. And we started with armor, which is nice. All right, we got a few wind turbines. Let's uh, plop those down.
power output 20 kilowatts. We're still in the yellow. What if I take this off? Why was it yellow? Oh, okay, well... That's the consumption. Okay, well, it's yellow, but I don't think that matters. Um, because it's producing power, not consuming. But, um, yeah, now we got 340. Let's get rid of that so we can make some more furnaces. And... I think I can power another one of these. What do I want to make? Oh, I can't make rifle ammo. I guess more tech cards? Or maybe I could just save my power for a proper research lab. Alright, let's make a real research lab. Although I'm going to need more uh, wind turbines to power it. Let's get rid of these. Don't need them now that we got the depot. I'll put another drone in there so it can mine faster. They can hold a maximum amount of drones. It might be like a hundred. I don't know what it is. Here we go. We got our drone set up for the iron. And I'm still going to my inventory to use the coal, even though I have it on my hotbar. Got to break out of that habit. make some more ammo slow down capsule oh, it'll be fun to play with these capsules that takes steel though let's make some more drones Alright, can I power this thing? Let's find out. Well, we're in the yellow, but we got some more wind turbines. How's that? Okay, now we're in the green. That'll get us research faster. How does the research speed compare? This is a speed one, this is speed one, they're the same, okay. It's got some more drones in there. No mineable resources? Okay. Or mined out. No mineable resources? No problem. Uh, we're gonna 
transition away from these miners pretty soon, I hope. Alright, we completed Automation Core. So we can start with Automation. How do we get more power? I want power. Um, boiler? Oh, there it is. Oh, we need pipes. All right, let me do that first. I want to get uh, better power before we go to automation. Got to research pipes. Okay, let's make another mining depot for copper. I don't have any drones to put in it yet, though. So, it's a slow start, but... Um, we'll be ramping up pretty quick once I get all these depots put down and get them filled with drones. So, we'll be um, ramping up our resource extraction here. Pretty quickly, pretty soon, and um, after we get uh, boilers researched and pipes researched and all of that stuff, uh, then we'll have much, much more power to work with. And I think we won't need wind turbines after that at all. They don't really give much power. Yeah, I mean, they're okay. I guess they work um, throughout the day, unlike solar panels. I think solar panels only give 60 watts. So it's actually not bad. Sweet. We got pipes. Alright, now I need steam engines. And I believe after steam engines, we're good. That's all we need. We don't need anything else to get power from steam. Alright, let's make a bunch of drones. And um, we're going to be getting attacked pretty soon here. Alright, I'm going to end it here. That'll be the first episode. We're on the precipice of steam power, which is exciting to me, anyway. And uh, we're starting to get these depots down. Just need more drones. But um, we're kind of working our way out here of the very, very, very early stage. So, um, excited to see where it goes from here. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.